welcome to Kiddo Piano Wednesday with Teacher Megan. Today we'll be playing C, D, E Finder. Now for this game you'll need three different objects. A dice, and you can use a small one from a game like Yahtzee if you don't have a large one like mine. A marker, you can also use a pencil, a pen, a crayon, whatever you have around your house that you can write with. You also need a piece of paper. Now your piece of paper doesn't have to be very large, or you can use a whole piece of paper if that's what you have around your house. So to set up for our game, we're going to write C, D, E on our piece of paper as many times as you can fit. So let's go ahead and do that, all right? C, D, E. C, D, E. C, D, E. Now it doesn't have to look perfect, just as long as you know it's a C, a D, or an E. C, D, E, C, D, E, C, D, E, C, D, E. How fast do you say that? C, D, E, C, D, E, C, D, E, woo! All right, so it'll look like this when you are all done. C, D, E, awesome. All right, so let's figure out where C, D, and E are at on the piano. So the piano is made up of white and black keys. Now these black keys are gonna help us find notes on our white keys today. So our black keys are broken into groups of three and groups of two. Can you find some groups of two on your piano? Two black keys. And can you play those a couple times? Perfect. Now today we're going to imagine that these two black keys are actually a dog house. Have you ever seen a dog house? That's awesome! Now what animal lives inside of a dog house? Of course a dog! That's right! So the white key that's inside of our dog house is D for dog. Can you play our dog key? Perfect! Can you find another D on your piano? So you're gonna find a dog house and find a dog inside. Perfect, D. Can you play all the D's on your piano? Spectacular. All right, now what type of animal is a rival of a dog? So the opposite of a dog, the, the little animal that likes to pester dogs. A cat, that's right, a cat. Now cats can be really cute, but they can also be really sneaky. Now we have a cat that really wants to be inside the doghouse, but the problem is that this cat is way too small. <gasps> so, if we're looking at our doghouse, and this is a pesky little creature that's trying to tease the dog, but is too small to get inside, they're gonna be right here. So C for cat. Can you play the white key that is right before our doghouse? Very good. Can you find another cat on your piano? A C? Awesome. Now, can you find all the C's on your piano? Now, there's one extra C on your piano that I like to call sneaky C. And it's the very, very, very last note on your piano. Awesome! All right! Now our final one to find for today is E. Now what is an animal that starts with E that is so big? There's no way it can fit inside of a doghouse. An elephant! That's right! Good job! An elephant! All right, so right here after our doghouse, because it's much too big, is our elephant note, our E. Can you play the elephant? Awesome! Is there another E? Of course! Now can you play all the E's on your piano? Remember, it's the white key after the doghouse because elephants are much too big for doghouses. Okay, very nice! You're now ready to play our game! So you're gonna grab your piece of paper and your dice. So to begin, roll your dice. And it's a three. 
So let's go three in. One, two, three. That puts us on E. So can you play an E, an elephant note with your left hand? E. Perfect. Now roll the dice again, but keep this hand holding down on E. There we go. Oh, I got six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Another E. So now my right hand will play an E. Okay, and then, then my left hand will come up to roll the dice. So we're gonna alternate our hands. And this time I got a four. One, two, three, four. So now my left hand's going to play a C. Ooh, there it is. Now let's roll the dice again. I got a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Another C. So alternating back to my right hand. Roll the dice. I got four. One, two, three, four. D, find the dog in the doghouse. Okay, and roll the dice again. I got three. One, two, three. Another dog in the doghouse. Switching hands. Now I have a four. One, two, three, four. E, so the elephant, that's much too big for our doghouse. Roll that dice again. Ooh, I got five. One, two, three, four, five. D for the doghouse. Now roll the dice one final time, and I got four. Now that's more than what I have, so you can either finish on D, or you could just go to the top to start counting over again. That's up to you. I'm just gonna finish with another D in the doghouse. Hey, so that's how you play our game. It's fairly simple. You're just gonna alternate back and forth and use a dice. Now, if you're having a hard time remembering where you're at on your sheet, you can use your marker to point at it for you. So if you are on C and then you roll a four, one, two, three, four, and then you can use your marker to keep it there by D. So you can get it to stay. There we go. So that way then you don't you lose your spot. Thanks for joining me today for another Kiddo Piano Wednesday. I hope you enjoyed playing C, D, E Finder and that it is so much easier for you to find those on your piano. Be sure to follow Virtual Piano Class on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube so you never miss another piano game or activity. See you next time!